Good afternoon, chat. Isn't it nice to be counted among the living? Our night in the woods was only a singular night. Looks like it's not an extended camping trip, but apparently for some people that's not the case. Oh, dark days ahead. Oh, somebody just got me too right off a cliff. Oh, I'm talking about suicide. It's a harsh topic. <laughs> oh, what a clown world we live in. Boy, I really didn't ever think I'd be talking about this particular individual again, but what do you know? How could I pass up the opportunity? It's not every day somebody goes for a real-life high score. That's the gamer girl spirit I'm talking about. Oh, you made fun of her. You said, oh, Zoe, you just play Zelda. You're not a true gamer. You don't know what gamer life is about, bitch. Mountain Dews and Dorito over here. You don't speak to my people. And then she goes out and kills the motherfucker. Who's laughing now, chat? That's an achievement unlocked. Xbox is adding her right now with a round of applause. That's some hardcore parkour shit for our little girl, Zoe. Oh, suicide. Tragic topic. Allow me not to treat it with any respect, because I am a cunt. And, of course, we're going to be talking about the situation itself. A few other things to get through first. Uh, some people in chat have been asking, Jim, where are your videos? I put up a community post, but, of course, I, I'm, I'm sure most people aren't going to notice. A community post. Well, I started getting videos flagged down been a naughty boy. They went after We Was Kangs. Took it down. Not allowed to have humor on this website anymore. I tried to appeal it. Didn't get appealed. Video stays down. Your old boy Jimmy here got a warning. They wagged their finger at me, told me to step in line. And then I noticed other videos started mysteriously disappearing, which is bizarre because I didn't get any emails with it. Just up and left. Uh, one in particular was a JonTron edit of Ukulele. Probably the most unoffensive thing you could imagine. JonTron didn't really say anything highly offensive, just more comical. That got taken down too, and at that point I was like, fuck it. What am I even trying for? You can't upload videos on YouTube and have a laugh anymore. That's not allowed. So I just, I took the videos down. If you want my channel going down, YouTube, if you want me out of here, Google, you're going to have to drag me out. <laughs> you're going to have to come up with a new excuse to drag me out. There are no videos to strike. That's fourth dimensional chess, motherfuckers. I've been studying Donald Trump. Orange Man has taught me how to play a wicked game. You can't stop me. So I'm uploading my backlog in, uh, in batches up on BitChute. I'll put the I'll put the link up for a minute. That's that's where all Jimmy's shit's gonna go. Nice thing about BitChute, no censorship. Oh, oh, I've got a whole list of shit. Oh, I've wanted to do a video on trannies for so long. You have no idea. Oh, there's gonna be a dedicated video about that. School shooter series, fucking back on the table. So if you want to watch new shit, that's where it's going to be. The old backlog will be up there, but all the new shit's going over there. I'll put up nice, nice family-friendly trailers here on YouTube so people know that new videos are coming out. I'll make sure they're not offensive. I'll make sure that I tell everybody how much I love Israel. It's important to always point that out. In every trailer, I will point that out. I love Israel. The Jews are cool. I love myself some Israel. I think I think I think I'll be fine. 18th dimensional outer space backgammon. All right, I'm on a level beyond. I'm on a level beyond. <sighs> well, I'm sure most of you have seen the the news. Game developer has committed suicide to the roarous uh, the the ruckus roaring applause of certain segments of the internet. A reset Era, of course, is extremely happy. Uh, game journalists are extremely happy. Zoe Quinn, oh, what do you know? Deleted her Twitter account. Why would that be? Why would Zoe delete her Twitter account? What would lead her to do that? It's not like she's done anything wrong. She's a good girl. It's not like she drove a guy to kill himself. What in the fuck? Uh, so let's start with, uh, let's start with the beginning. Let's go into Miss Quinn's, uh, Touching Me Too story, I guess. I don't, I don't know how else you wanted to find it. Put this up. Oh, there's so much shit. It's just a lot of shit to read, chat, but we're going to read it. I want you to understand the heartbreak involved in this uh, this terrifying story, really. Uh, a lot of heartache. Well, <laughs> a lot of tough times. I know it might be appearing on your screen small, but I will read it for you out loud because I'm that nice. Uh, this is from Zoe Quinn. In regards to a game developer, she accused of abusing her. So let's uh, hear those allegations. I want to say up front that I'm not saying this for anyone but me. 
and the other people that I have known who have been hurt by him and might in the future be hurt. So brave. So fucking brave, Zoe. I read uh, Natalie Lawhead's post about her rapist being an industry legend who took advantage of her and poisoned her career. And it shook me to my core. Her waning health, her fear, the way she described all of it feeling like drowning, and my heart broke for her. Beyond that, I felt ashamed. So many of the little details down to the timing had been things I've gone through. Just a few months into my time as an indie game developer, and it's haunted me every day since. It's why I don't go to GDC anymore. I'm drowning, too. A few months into making games, I was sexually assaulted. My visa status was threatened if I told anyone, and he went out of his way to tell the community that I'd been falsely accusing him of rape when I hadn't said anything to anyone. But a third party who saw it happen firsthand confronted him about it the next day. This story isn't about him. <laughs> hey guys, I got raped, but this isn't about him. Now let me go on for six more pages. This story isn't about him. After years of therapy and working on myself, he reached out and apologized for everything. And I've forgiven him. But that's the background to this story. Are you hooked, chat? Oh, I know. It's a, where, where's it going to go next? What, what exciting twist and turn is this going to take? Oh, let me make sure I got the right one. That should be part two. Six pages of this. One month after the assault, I wanted to leave Toronto. I was scared. I couldn't sleep, and I almost killed myself over it. I had a suicide note and everything ready to go, but I just didn't want to do that to my roommate. Enter Alec Halawaka. Now, it's important to understand the rape story apparently is separate from Alec. So let's find out what Alec did. He's terrible from what I understand. Enter Alec Halawaka. Yeah. The one from Aquaria in Nights in the Woods. He was one person who I felt like in my newly chosen field had my back. He talked about how great and cheap Winnipeg was, and we flirted and talked on Skype for hours. You know, I was in an incredibly vulnerable place, and he asked me to come visit him in Winnipeg to see if I'd want to start an indie house there with three friends I'd been talking about the idea with, and to see if the thing between us was as cool as it seemed at a distance. Two weeks. I'd buy the plane ticket there, he'd buy my plane ticket back. He knew I couldn't afford it otherwise, so that was the deal. I wouldn't get home for a month, and only then it was because my roommate used his miles to get me out of his apartment that he had physically confined me to. I'm, you know, I'll put a picture of this guy up later. <laughs> Mr. Muscles? Fucking Alex? Okay, yeah, you'll see what I'm talking about a little bit later on. I don't want to spoil it just yet, though. But let's uh, let's continue. While I was in Winnipeg, he slowly isolated me from everyone else in my life, while absolutely degrading me whenever we were alone. He convinced me to talk to the three uh, to three friends out of getting a shared place with me there. He convinced me to let him program my game instead of the friend that I had been working with, despite many protests. He screamed at me for over an hour once because of the tone in my voice when I said hello. He wouldn't let me leave the apartment without him, and he refused to give me the code to get back in. <laughs> Can you picture Zoe Quinn scratching at the door like a lost stray cat? <laughs> let, let me in, Alec. Let me back in the apartment. About the sexual assault, he blamed me. He said he was jealous of me to be wanted like that. He'd bring it up during sex, where he'd regularly be mean and violent. He told me he loved me in a way no one else would, because he could see that I was terrible, and he loved me anyway. And I bought it, because that's how you feel when you're recovering from being sexually assaulted. I spent a lot of that month hiding from him in the bathroom. His moods would shift, and he'd throw things and hurt himself, seemingly at random, and blame me. This is probably my favorite line of any fucking... Any heartbreaking, sad story, social media post I've ever heard, visualize what I'm about to read to you. He'd jam his fingers inside me and walk me around the house by them when I told him it hurt. Okay, I think we need to take a minute really to discuss the logistics of what we're reading here. He would stick his, he would, no, not stick, jam. There's force involved. He would jam them in. And walk her around like a poodle, being led by his fingers. How does that? How does that even work? How are you led around an apartment? Is he? Where is he jamming them? I can think of one hole he's sticking them in. 
and I wish there was a sex tape of that. I've never <laughs> just dragged around the apartment by your pussy. Oh, Alec, you're so you're so violent. Oh, such a violent boy. Oh, let's let's move on. Part four. I was scared to leave. I was scared to tell anyone. He'd act normal when other people were around and lay into me as soon as we were alone. Then apologize and say how much he needed and loved me. I got even more scared when the two weeks had passed and he kept putting off the agreed plane ticket home. I spent a lot of that time hiding in the bathroom from him. My roommate started to get scared and asked me if I needed help getting out. I said yes and Alec barely looked at me as I left. When I got home, I sent a cordial and friendly breakup email. He lashed out and banned me from an indie game community he ran banned himself, then went to other industry legends asking them to help him kill himself because I was such a bitch. He made sure to blacklist me at important industry events. He tried to ruin the career I'd barely started. To a degree, it worked. That night, GG started, or I'm sorry, the night GG started, I vague booked about it without being, uh, without specifying which ex and other uh, two other women in games immediately messaged me to ask if it was Alec. He'd done similar things to them. They knew he'd been fixated on me and were also too afraid to speak up about an industry legend. Industry legend? I thought he made an indie game. Didn't know he was so famous for uh, a night in the woods, but all right. It's been the better part of a decade, and I'm still afraid of him. Too afraid to speak out, especially because I've gone through so much publicly. Like, people will just roll their eyes and ignore me, as if it's uh, if there's, there's a karmic limit on how much bad shit can happen to someone before people stop listening. I'm afraid that people will care more about the or their love of Night in the Woods than they will about the safety and truths of women and non-binary people in video games. I'm still afraid of him. I'm afraid of telling anyone about him. I'm afraid of how many indies have seen this behavior and given him a pass. I'm afraid of being in the same room as him. Because I'm afraid he'll hurt me again. Please, no, Alec, stay away. This is a game developer award show. Don't grab me by the pussy and drag me around. There are other people in our industry here. I can't go to E3 anymore. I'm scared Alec is going to grab me by my cunt and walk me around the fucking expo. <laughs> I'm afraid of all the developers who watched this happen and watched him scream abuse at other women out front of MossCon during GDC. But being silent for years has been worse than fear. I skipped the last two GDCs because I couldn't risk being around him or seeing everyone clap for him on stage. Especially not the people who know. Oh, we're getting to the last page, chat. It's been an arduous journey of emotion. But we're finally there. I don't wish any ill will on anyone. I know Alec is likely not well. And I will always believe in rehabilitation over punishment. I don't want anything bad to come of this to his collaborators who may not have known any of this. I've watched big enough names in the indie community know about him. So much so that the reaction to his first meltdown about me was, Oh well, that's Alec, what can you do? And I've seen enough to know nothing's going to happen about this particular broken stare. Unless someone says, or says something. But we're all scared. I'm scared. A big childish part of me has been hoping people would somehow start caring or figure it out on their own. But feeling like a coward in the face of Natalie's strength. Feeling like I have to hide from my own life because it's not safe and I can't tell anyone why I'm hiding. Of knowing I wasn't the first or the last of drowning. That's too much for me to keep carrying. I just want the other boot to drop so I can breathe again. I don't want another new dev to get hurt and hear the same, Oh, that's just how he is. After the fact that I did, I just want to breathe again. Well, Zoe, I think you're going to be able to breathe. Now, Alec, on the other hand, I don't know if he's going to, because he's fucking dead. Alec is dead. Dead as a doornail. Killed himself. Killed himself after she spoke, she, she preached her, uh, <laughs> she preached her speech. Told us her truth, her deep darkest secrets about being dragged around by your pussy by this strong you know let me pull a picture of this guy up because really i'm not going to do justice to it until you can see what he looks like <laughs> halawaka ha let's see what his fuck oh god when you say i'm going to show you a picture of this guy 
And you just, uh, you tell me, uh, I hope this is, yeah, here we go. Here we go. This is him. <laughs> Can I make this bigger? Okay. Here's the brute, chat. Here's the man that, oh my god, drags women around by their cunts. <laughs> He's a bad motherfucker. There he is. If there are any women watching, please grab a man and have him protect you from the image of this terrible individual. <laughs> this is the man that kept her locked in an apartment and drug her around by her cunt. Oh, oh, heartbreaking, really. Just, just the awful, awful, what a brute. Oh, he, he just reeks of strength, really, when you take a look. So, Zoe, of course, put her information out. Talking about this terrible assault, what happens? His fucking uh, own friends, his game developer co-workers, throw him under a bus. Other indie devs come out and they throw him under a bus. Alec is now public enemy number one. Terrible, horrible, how could he do this? Zoe is so sweet and innocent. And of course, dead. Now I believe we, uh, let me see. One of the things to keep in mind, Zoe's Twitter account is gone now. She's deactivated it, deleted it, I don't know. And his sister, the person that allegedly posted the information about his death, uh, has locked her account. But I believe I have the suicide statement. Uh, let me just pull this up and I'll, I'll read it to you. Uh, again, this is posted by uh, his sister. Alex Hulwaka, my brother and best friend, passed away this morning. Uh, now, this is, uh, this is some shit. Prepare yourself. Here we go. Those who know me will know what uh, will know that I believe survivors, and I've always done everything I can to support survivors, those suffering from mental illnesses and those with chronic illnesses. Alec was a victim of abuse, and he also spent a lifetime battling mood and personality disorders. I will not pretend that he was not also responsible for causing harm, but deep down he was a person who wanted only to offer people some uh, care and kindness. It took him a while to figure out how. Over the last few years with therapy and medication, Alec has become a new person. The same person he'd always been, but without any of the darkness. He was a calm and happy, positive and loving. Obviously change and a slow process, and it wasn't perfect. But he was working towards re or rehabilitation and a better life. In the last few days, he was supported by many, uh, a crisis service, I don't know how to pronounce it. And I want to thank everyone there for their support. I want to thank Adam for staying up late talking with us and reminding Alec that there was a future. My family has and always will be most important thing to me. Please give us time to heal. We tried our best to support Alec, but in the end, he felt he had lost too much. I currently do not see a place for myself in games or on Twitter. I will not be looking at the responses to this post. I appreciate everyone who has reached out to me over the last few days for everyone else. Uh, for anyone who is in a time of darkness, I encourage you to reach out for support. There will always be a person who will be there for you. Now, that was the, the sister. Uh, the sister had a follow-up, which was uh, something before they privated their account. Uh, because the account's privated, I have to go to an article, which quotes it, of course, because everybody's got to delete shit the moment something happens. What are you going to do? Uh, let me read this to you. I believe this is up. No, that's their thread. There we go. Uh, this was the follow-up response from the sister. And in case it's not already fucking obvious, Alec specifically said he wished the best for Zoe and everyone else. So don't use our grief as an excuse to harass people. Go outside and take care of someone and work towards preventing these kind of things in the first place. Probably worth noting the sister is an ardent feminist. <laughs> when did your brother tell you that, by the way? As he was putting the gun in his mouth? At what moment did he say, by the way, this isn't Zoe's fault? When he kicked the chair out from under him? But what was the exact moment during his fucking suicide? When he did he wink at you before he uh, took a I don't know a ball peen hammer to his fucking skull? No, he no he wanted the best for Zoe. He really liked that lady. Oh, she was nice. Now some of the reactions coming about this are exactly the sort of fucking shit you would expect. Let's put up some of the best ones. Why not? How about some oh, reset era? Boy, everybody knows they're a fucking cup of tea. Now I want you to understand. Reset Era is the world's worst forum. I've talked about it before. I call them cat ladies, but it really is the most just shithole place that you can visit. And recently, they've been going after developers left and right. Most recently for Ion Fury, Ion Maiden, whatever the rename is, because they had transphobic anti-gay jokes in their video game. 
They wanted them fired. They wanted people kicked off fucking development, blacklisted from the industry. And the devs buckled for a while. Uh, we're going to put in sensitivity training. We're going to donate $10,000 to some gay charity. Uh, we're going to remove what offends you. But Reset Era is never fucking satisfied. They will never be satisfied. If you are a game developer, I cannot stress this enough. These fucks will never take what you do uh, in a good way. It will never be good enough. There is no point in appealing to them. Remember, this is the same forum that will go on diatribes talking about how you need to believe women and how you need to stick up for the oppressed minorities. And yet when a woman, a user on this forum, went to NeoGAF with information that people in their moderation staff at Reset Era, administrators and power users and insiders in the industry, were involved in what they described as a, uh, a fucking... Uh, Lollicon pedophile discord, a secret discord run by Reset Era, where power users and administrators and moderators would talk about underage sex and trade Lollicon with each other. When they went and told that truth, they didn't believe women. They went after them. They threatened that user and said they were going to sue them, that they were going to come after them. So don't let these degenerate fucks strong arm you. There's no reason to. And case in point, the best highlight for why I'm saying this, this guy is a blood sacrifice. There is nothing more he could do. He fucking killed himself. You, could, you, you should count that as a win, Reset Era, but not good enough. Look at this smug fuck. From Classical. Wow, that sucks. Feel bad for his family. Feel worse for the accuser who will now have to face even more backlash. They say that suicide is the coward's way out, but this one feels especially cowardly. Instead of working towards forgiveness, he has just made everyone he uh, he hurt live much or life's much worse. Not to mention the lives of the people he lo or who loved him. So you drive the guy to suicide. There were people in this fucking thread about this game developer in the beginning, who were going on and on about he needs to be taught a fucking lesson and get what's coming to him. And after he kills himself, these degenerate cat lady fucks who aren't satisfied piss on his grave by saying he's a gutless coward for killing himself. He should have crawled on broken glass, on his hands and knees like a fucking dog. He should have licked the shit from their tainted asshole, because that's the only way they're going to say he's a good boy. He needs to beg for forgiveness. He didn't beg enough before he killed himself. So, Reset Era is not satisfied with the death toll. Fuck this forum. Your power users, your mod staff, your admins in a pedophile discord. Fuck you! Going after every developer you can for the most trivial shit. Oh, you didn't like a fucking joke in a video game reset era? Oh, did it offend you? Oh, they changed Ole to Ogay. Okay. Let's ruin them. Fuck you. No game developer should take these pricks for anything they have to say. They're a fucking joke. And every insider, every insider that's on this forum that gets information fed to them because they're in the industry or associated with people in the industry, fuck them especially. They're a cancer. A cancer-killing developers. Literally. And they're going to bitch because he's dead. Because he didn't live long enough to beg hard enough for them. Oh, absolute disgust for these fucks. Fuck you, Classical. And fuck you, Reset Era. You cat lady shithole forum. Oh, that was cathartic. But of course, Reset Era wasn't the only one. No, you got to get the hot takes from every lib shit leftist that's on the fucking internet. Oh, we got one from... From Vosh. This is Little Destiny. I don't know if you're familiar with Little Destiny, but Little Destiny is like a mini-me <laughs> fucking version of Destiny. I'm already seeing a ton of backlash against Zoe Quinn now. That Alex Halawahaka, her abuser, killed himself following her allegations against him. Cut that shit out. How an abuser responds to their behavior being made public is not the victim's responsibility. Don't you make fun of this. Don't you talk badly about her princess, her highness, Zoe Quinn. I'm confused. Is Alec... Is he the guy that asked a chick to jack a horse off? I'm pretty sure that, I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure Vosh is the one who posted this in Discord. All right, I'll try to put it as neutrally as possible. I don't actually support bestiality, but I find it very hot conceptually. I love big cocks, and horse cocks are as big as they come. Pretty nice looking, too. The thought of somebody being so horny and cock hungry they turn into an animal to slate their carnal interests is very hot. Like the idea of you curiously touching or stroking one. Curiosity driven by raw sexual interest. 
I'm confused. Was that Vosh? I'm pretty sure that's Vosh, right? Talking about chicks need to jack horses off because of raw sexual interest? <laughs> Fuck off, buddy. <laughs> you degenerate shit. What am I listening to this for? Oh, I love it. I love anytime you hear I don't support bestiality, but you know there's going to be a story after the butt. You know there's going to be something entertaining after the butt. But, but, you know, there's something. Oh, who else did we have chime in with their fucking brilliant hot take on this shit? Oh, Patricia Hernandez. I don't know if you remember her. She's the one that basically, <laughs> what did she, she wrote an article for Kotaku, like, in 2013, basically saying, uh, uh, somebody said rape in Gears of War voice chat, and it made her write an essay about it. It's true. I remember talking to Zoe at the time, 2011, 2012, it's been a while. And she'd tell me she was locked in Alex's bathroom for hours, afraid for her safety. That's strange. Because Patricia Hernandez loves to write about how terrible cis white males are, and especially how toxic and terrible the gaming community is. That Patricia never wrote an article about this, even obscuring the names, is very bizarre to me. And also, does that, does that, I remember talking to them in 2011 and 12, was Patricia friends with Zoe before they worked at Kotaku? <laughs> Uh-oh. Ugh. Oh. Oh, you gotta love it. Oh, even Anita's jumping in. For PAX West folks, this week has been tough for many of us. So remember that the Center for Suicide Awareness is in the Diversity Lounge. <laughs> of course it is! And available to chat with you about any issues that might be coming up or that you are experiencing while you're here. You aren't alone. Oh, the Suicide Prevention Hotline's in the Diversity Lounge. <laughs> Good luck! Oh awful. I'm sorry, what's that? Oh, I, a special guest wants to join us. I, I I don't know. I guess, chat, uh, hopefully you're okay with this, but Dr. Jordan Peterson said he wanted to come in and say a few words about uh, about this whole situation. Okay, Dr. Peterson, take the mic. I'm so fucking sick of these whores ruining our video games. I remember once when my daughter said she loved Zelda. I hit her. She deserved it. Go cook, cook or clean or something. Video games aren't for you, gamer girl. Harsh words, but, you know, round of applause. Thanks, buddy. <laughs> I mean, he's coming out. He's coming out swinging. You can't, you can't fuck with a Canuck. Peterson, I don't know why, why you're doing What's that? Oh, you want me to, you, you want to say something else? Oh, you have a demo reel for us. Not really related to the stream, but worth watching anyway. I didn't, I didn't, really? I didn't realize Dr. Peterson apparently is now, uh, a gay pornography. Well, if you insist, Dr. Peterson, sure, I'll play that clip for you. Oh, shit, I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hmm. Huh. Sometimes, I pull on it so hard, I rip the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things, too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Will you show me? I'd be right happy to. A stunning and brave, chat. <laughs> Just absolutely fucking stunning and brave. Thank you. Thank you, Dr. Peterson. <laughs> Thank you, Dr. Peterson, for sharing that with us. <sighs> Tragic. So a game developer has committed suicide. Uh, after being accused of being uh, violent. Uh, I don't know if anything particularly sexual in nature was brought up. Uh, I know that it was a bit confusing to people, because uh, apparently Quinn was talking about two different stories, uh, one about a rape at the hands of somebody else, and then about abuse at the hands of Alec. And so people have conflated these two things. But nonetheless, that was the allegation. Co-workers and friends, industry insiders, everybody turned their back on him, and he killed himself. Now, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of people out there saying, you need to believe. You need to take Zoe Quinn's word for it. It's important that you do it. You need to believe survivors. You need to believe survivors when it comes to tales about sexual assault. That is what's coming out of Zoe Quinn's camp. So with that in mind, if we're going to believe survivors, then I think it's time Zoe Quinn answered for her sexual assault. Wolf Wozniak. Zoe Quinn sexually harassed me at a friend's wedding in early March. I didn't think anything of it at the time. This is from the 18th of August, 2014. You know, 
I it's it, I'm very upset right now. I'm shaking a little bit. I mean, we we see what happens to those who are accused of sexual misconduct, and it apparently somebody has outed Zoe Quinn as uh, a sexual predator, sexually harassed somebody at a friend's wedding in early March of 2014. I demand justice. Where's Reset Era? Where's Anita Sarkeesian? Where are all the game devs that were screaming bloody murder for Alex Head on a Pike? Seems you've got another sexual predator on the loose, according to Wolf here. When is the answer to this going to be given? Remember, we need to believe survivors. Me too. Me too. I believe Wolf. I don't know, Chad, can I get a W if you believe Wolf? We need to make sure people have heard Wolf's story about the horrible sexual harassment he faced at a wedding at the hands of Zoe Quinn. Just give me a W if you believe Wolf. Absolutely terrible. Sexual predator on the on the loose. Oh yeah, there's Phil Fish. You're no friend of mine. How could he do that? How could he turn his back on a rape victim? Phil Fish? I'm assuming it's rape. There are no details. Sexually harassed to me. Code word. Wolf's probably scared. Scared and shaking. I mean, I'm assuming... I'll have to wait for Wolf to clarify or Zoe to offer an apology. I'm good. Here's what I think happened, just based on the limited information that I have. Again, it's an assumption based on what I'm reading. I, I believe what may have happened allegedly is Zoe Quinn put on a 14-inch strap-on dildo and fucked Wolf until he bled from his mouth. I think that's what he means by sexually harassed. <laughs> I'm going to have to believe him, though. Me too. Believe Whammon. And I'm believing Wolf right now. Don't have a lot of details, but I work with what I got, folks. Seeing a lot of W's. A lot of W's for Wolf's poor busted out asshole. A lot of blood coming from that mouth. <laughs> it's, it's very it's very heartbreaking. Our poor little boy. Our poor, poor little boy. So is this the point we've reached? Where just devs are everybody's bitch? You know, I, I remember people <clears throat> people have bitched for ages about game developers and publishers, and a lot of the reasons are right. We don't like getting fucked on microtransactions. We don't like getting fucked on macrotransactions. We're sick of the DLC shit. We're sick of getting lied to. We're sick of beta testing bugged fucking software and having it shipped out later with uh, patches to fix it. There are a lot of legitimate grievances that exist within the sphere of gaming. But is this is this where we're where it just it's going to continue? Where any little thing is so offensive, people need to be fired. Where people can just have an accusation thrown at them, be driven to suicide, and have people gloat about it because they deserved it with no evidence to support or corroborate it. Our game developers just have they reached the point where they're so powerless in their own industry that a subsect of power-hungry cat ladies can run rickshaw over them, that they have to bend the fucking knee and take it up the ass, that there's just nothing that can be done. Where every game has to be sanitized, where everybody has to go through sensitivity training, where a phrase or a word or an outfit needs to be removed because it offends somebody, where translation teams interfere with the work and change a translation because they find something to be problematic that the Japanese didn't find to be problematic. What a joke of a fucking industry gaming has become at this point. Not that it's really salvageable, but Jesus Christ, you couldn't pay me to take a job in it at this point. You sneeze on somebody, you're going to get accused of something. You tell a joke offhanded, you're going to get accused of something. You can go, go look at the eye on Maiden people. Having a conversation in the Discord, you want to know what set them off? When it comes to those developers, you want to know what started the cat, law, or the cat lady hate mob against them? They actually had the gall to say that they thought it was crazy for somebody who had a baby to decide that they're transgender. I don't see what's so offensive about that. I don't think babies really can decide anything. In fact, I'm pretty sure babies are retarded. I mean, legally, definably retarded. <laughs> I, don't th I don't think you could trust a baby's judgment. A baby is a pretty stupid fucking thing. And I don't think a baby can really vocalize or even give you the idea that they want to change genders. So to hear a game developer say, in a conversation on their Discord, yeah, I think it's a little bit crazy. And these people saying their babies are a different gender. At least wait till the kid's a little older. But apparently that was too much. They needed to be taught a lesson. Thrown to the wolves and stripped of all their accolades. Now, that's a new tactic, by the way. It's not just firing them. It's not blacklisting them and shaming them. 
They want to start removing their credits from things they've already worked on to erase them completely. They're pulling a Joseph Stalin. They're, they're taking them out of the fucking picture, quite literally. What a fucking shit show. So now Zoe Quinn has run for the hills. And all her little friends are, are putting cover up there. Oh, they're telling you that now this is a tragic thing and we need to be respectful and not talk about it. And they're going to spin it into being something about suicide. I'd like to more talk about what drove him to his suicide rather than the suicide itself. You know, like the whole, <laughs> like the whole everybody throwing his ass under the bus thing. But that's not going to be, that's not a topic of conversation. And the absolute gall, the absolute gall of Anita Sarkeesian to tweet out suicide awareness in this entire circumstance, to tweet that out after this motherfucker's dead. Surreal. Absolutely fucking surreal. I don't know. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just getting old, Chet. Maybe I, I just need to believe woman. Need to believe woman, and of course, people who want horses to be jacked off. It's always important if a horse gets jacked off. You know, the person telling you to do that has the hottest take of all. Maybe, maybe we should go dig his body up like Reset Era wants and drag him across broken glass so his soul screams. Find some way to punish his ghost. I don't know. I'm sure they'll find something to latch onto and bitch about. You know, the thread was so, so fucked up. The mod stepped in because they needed time to ban people. <laughs> if you go on recent era and post, they will stop a thread in its tracks just so they have an opportunity to ban motherfuckers because they don't like what they're saying. I can't stress enough how much I hate this fucking forum and the people that are on it. It's like the worst of the worst from NeoGAF. It, it literally is. The worst of the worst from NeoGAF made their own forum. And these little fuckers are involved in all this shit. Oh, man, they love that Zoe Quinn shit. When she posted that uh, tweet longer, when she was posting about this assault, they were all up in that shit. Just all up in it. Oh, any, any more heads they can pike up and add to their trophy case. They want that shit on a mantle to show their fucking relatives. Awful. Just awful people. <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what the hell's going on. These people are fucking insane. I got some super chats. Let me read some of these. Uh, fucking Freddy. I added some fake truthers. Monty attacking now. Check it out. MM not kidding. Could you fake child advocate scammers working on YouTube? Big channels involved. I will take a look. I'm not I'm not sure who the fake child advocate channels are, but uh, I will I'll check them out. From Sword and Scale, Mr. Medicare, I know things are bad. Please don't off yourself like that developer did. We need you and your fermented potato slurping take on things. I don't plan on going anywhere. <laughs> Except to bit shoot, because I don't really have much of a choice. Oh, they wanted they wanted Jimmy Boy's videos gone. Oh, you can't catch me. I'm too slippery. Oh, oh, the Irish. We're tricky people. Oh, we're like little leprechauns. You can't catch us. <laughs> We'd slip right out of your grip. Again, that's bit shoot. Bit shoot's where I'm gonna be posting videos from now on. And like I said, I'll keep the channel around. I'm looking for a streaming solution so I can stream somewhere. I was going to stream on DLive, but had a little bit of a thing over there, too. Had my account just outright wiped out in the middle of a stream. Not really not really wanting to jump back over there. Don't don't really trust it. People are like, oh, it, it was a mistake. They literally wiped me out. No, I don't think... I, <laughs> I think I'll look for another one first, and maybe I'll go back to DLive. I don't know. But at the very least, BitChute works for videos. So if you want to watch the upcoming stuff, that's where it's going to be. As for now, I, this is where we're sticking with. Oh, you know, I think, I, I want to see if I can find what his co-workers said. Because this guy's co-workers, uh, they, didn't even, they didn't even really try to, to stick up for him. They just hucked his ass under the bus with everybody else. Let me see if I can find this shit. Oh, no, no, that's not what I'm looking for. Ah, oh, there we go. I think that's what I want. This would be from the uh, developer uh, for the night, a night in the Woods, people. Uh, this is up on Gator Pesos, Dami Gators' uh, Twitter account. Let's take a look at what they had to say about their colleague before he offed himself. I believe this is before he killed himself. Not sure if they're sticking by those statements. We'll find out. Hey, folks, some difficult tweets coming up. This is back on the 28th. 
This week, allegations of past abuse have come to light regarding Alec Hlawaka, who was coder, composer, and co-designer on A Night in the Woods. We take such allegations seriously as a team. As a result, and after some agonizing consideration, we are cutting ties with Alec. Going forward, Night in the Woods will be handled by Bethany and I. We're not sure what that means yet. This stuff takes time. So just cutting them out. Oh, apparently, people are trying to get the hashtag Zoe... <laughs> Zoe body count going. Never forget, Night in the Woods just believed Zoe Quinn without evidence and took the game from a suicidal man. Hurtful. How could you do it? Where are your standards? What a fucking shit show. I don't know. I don't know. Is this... Oh boy, are we going to get Gamergate 94 and a half? Can somebody get Donald to tweet about this, please? <laughs> somebody get Donald to tweet about this. Gamergate 84. Here we come. Back out of the gate. Let's have some more gay shit go on in a hashtag for a year and a half. No, I think I'm good. I think I like Zoe body count. That one works, I suppose. There's going to be... Uh, by the way, let me just be honest with you. No accountability. She won't be held to account for this. He's dead. They're going to just move on. In fact, I almost guarantee you within two weeks' time, everybody involved in this who was vocal about this guy will have spun it so they're a victim. They will spin it so they're a victim, and you need to support them. Zoe will say, oh my god, I had to flee Twitter. Did you see how mean all these gamers are being? Anita will say, oh my god, look how toxic. Look how toxic these people are because they're upset this man was driven to suicide. We, we are the real victims here. You know what's going to happen. You know that's the narrative they're going to go with. That's the game plan that's going to be on the table. Man, this guy. Talk about shit. Holy fuck. You have a, 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 a former girlfriend, I guess, come out, make allegations against, or against you. Your your co-developers throw you under the bus. Everybody in the industry throws you under the bus. Your sister, an ardent feminist, apparently throws you under the bus. And you just you end up blowing your fucking head off. And now you know, they're going to wait three days and it'll blow over and no big deal. Reset Era and the others will be back to picking a new target. Who are they going to fuck with now? Whose life can they ruin now? What game developer team, uh, what publisher can we fucking utterly destroy? Whose name can we drag through the mud? Whose career can we fucking end right now? That's what's going to happen. Absolute clown world shit. Oh, it's a black pill, Jim. It's too much of a black pill for us. You're being, it's supposed to be a happy stream. I mean, we could talk about other things. I have other things to talk about, but this was the... The main one that I wanted to jump into because I felt it was important. Because these people are scum with their hot takes about this man. And then they flee Twitter like pussies. Just delete that Twitter account. Don't deal with any of the backlash. Not something I want to have to have a hand in. What the fuck? I don't know. You tell me, chat. I'm looking at you right now. I've got you up on the screen. You tell me. On a scale of one to fucked, where's this sit for you? Where does it sit with you? that fucking cat ladies on Reset Era are going to actually get smug about this and say his death was too cowardly and they wanted him to fucking beg. Unbelievable. I don't know, that one really chaps my ass, personally. That one absolutely anally destroys me. <laughs> I am ass mad at that particular post. That one really got me. Yes, it is fucked. Oh, well, I'm good. I'm glad to see I'm not in the goddamn minority. <sighs> These fucking people. You know, I've seen speculation going around. I can't confirm this because, listen, I don't pay attention to these fucking people anymore. I haven't kept up on Zoe Quinn or Anita Sarkeesian or any of them in years. I, I think the, the, the one I'm probably the most familiar with is Brianna Wu because Wu ran for Congress. And had that whole fucking spiel about launching moon rocks on people. And <laughs> dropping rocks from the moon on people's heads on Earth. Or some crazy shit. Aside from that, I don't pay attention to them. But there's been speculation that's being bandied about that the revenue source for these particular individuals is dried up. They're not making the money they used to make. And so they were looking for a big controversy to start to cash in on. 
Now, I, maybe somebody can expand on that. Maybe somebody can go look at the uh, Patreon numbers. Maybe somebody can go look at the websites and the, the financial statements. I don't fucking know. I wouldn't put it past them. I wouldn't put it past them to start a little bit of shit up, make a little bit of money. But in this case, somebody killed himself. You got that body count. You you hit your high score of one. Now, I don't know if she'll go for a two for at another point. If there are any famous game developer twins out there, run for the hills. She might want two of you now. You just got to keep, got to keep, <laughs> keep, keep that body count up. You know, in fact, let's, uh, let's give this lady some, the respect she deserves. Because it's all according to, to, uh, to, uh, Kakaiku. Is that it? Oh, I fucked the meme up. She's ready. She's coming for you, game devs. She's got a book. She's got a book with your fucking names in it. <laughs> You're all fucked. She won't be happy until she drinks the blood of everyone. Prepare yourselves. Prepare yourselves. A happening is coming. Holy shit. Yeah, I would not want to be a game dev. Dealing with these people. You know, and I've seen people too say, well, didn't the guy, <clears throat> didn't Halawahanahaka bring it on himself? I mean, you don't stick your dick in crazy without knowing there are going to be repercussions later on in life. Did did Alec know who he was dealing with when he was uh, apparently dragging Zoe Quinn around by her pussy? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you. Oh, look, and she got that little death note ready to go. Ah, oh, there you go. Take that down. Spooking me a little bit. Don't want to leave it up on screen too long. I might be next. You might be next, chat. We're all dead. We're all fucked. Well, I keep your eyes peeled. I, I'll give you, I'll, I'll say the next three days will be the most activity about this. We'll see where it goes. I'm sure people are going to cover it. You probably get like a, a quartering video. Uh, you probably have uh, Sargon talking about it. I think Ralph is going to cover it on his stream. Or maybe even write an article about it. Maybe even Keemstar talks about it. Who knows? But I, I honestly think that after a week or two, they will have avoided it. And they'll have spun it around to make themselves a victim. And it will be business as usual. Doesn't it suck when the bad guy wins? But that's kind of how it feels, doesn't it? We need we need something to cheer us up. We need something to lighten the mood a little bit. What are we going to talk about to lighten the mood? Well, we are on the subject of rape. I suppose we could continue off with the story of uh, Only Use Me Blade. I covered that in the last stream I did on YouTube. It was a uh, in-real-life streamer who was accused of sexual assault on an RV camping trip that was uh, live-streamed on YouTube, of all fucking places. Uh, did not look very good for him. Apparently the uh, woman goo cheese or something like that uh, went to police and filed a report. Uh, they're investigating. But since then, so many interesting things have happened. I didn't know Chris Hansen investigates YouTubers, but apparently he does. So Chris Hansen is... Uh, I had Blade sit over there. Uh, so you know what? I think we'll take a look at that. And then, oh, uh, he also pissed himself and whipped his dick out on live stream. He's really been batting a thousand this last week. Can I say, to have a, a woman accuse you of rape, to have the police get involved, Chris Hansen has an interview with you about it, you pull your cock out on stream, and then you urinate all over yourself. That's, that's you know, that's a pretty hefty week. That's a lot of content, okay? This creator is giving Ice Poseidon a run for his fucking money. That's how you keep the people entertained. Is this drunken hobo going to urinate on himself again? Oh, what do you know he did? Content. <laughs> so we'll continue with the story of that. And I'll read some I'll read some super chats. Oh, some shekelberries. I'll do that as well. We'll take a very quick break. I'll put a little music on. I'm going to go grab a drink. If you got to take a piss, grab a drink yourself. Knock yourself out. Come back with a continuation of the story of Only Use Me Blade. And his uh, pee pee time adventures. I know it sounds very childish, but watching a man piss himself is something you don't really see every day. At least I don't. And uh, he really gave it a go. Really gave it a go. Uh, what song should we do? I mean, we are, we still are dealing with the mystery of who's flagging my channel or who was flagging it. Uh, but there's so many groups of degenerates, it's impossible to keep track. I've pissed off anybody and everybody you can imagine. Fur fags, pedophiles, a uh, whole group of trannies, cat ladies at uh, Reset Era, 
Just a lot of ass mad people. Kraut. A lot of ass mad people. Mundane Matt. Oh, that's a name that's been bandied about. But does it, it does whatever. Shit happens. I'll upload on BitChute. Life goes on. Just like this stream will go on after this momentary break. We gotta find off the screen. There we go. Oh boy. Let's continue on with the story of Blade. We 
We talked about Zoe and her driving a man to mur or murder himself, kill himself, commit suicide. A lonely eternal night in the woods for him. And of course, what the probable outcome of that is going to be. Uh, we'll find out over the next few weeks, I suppose. But let us continue with the story of our boy Blade. Now Blade, who's got tiny little holes in his legs from all the drinking, <laughs> diabetes, I don't know exactly what the cause is. But something is eating little holes. You know, I promised you last time we did a stream I would show you what the holes in his leg look like. I need to keep my word. How could you? How could you do it? How could you not show us the tiny little holes in his legs? Let me see if I can find that image for you. Pull that up first. Then we'll take a look at him. Uh, how am I going to do this? I can't show you him whipping his own dick out. Uh, that will get me, of course, shit kicked completely off of YouTube. But I can show you him pissing himself. Or at least the aftermath of it. And then we can watch some Chris Hansen. Because, uh, you know, everybody who's smart, of course, tries to go on Hansen and explain why they're totally not guilty. It's a, it's a smart idea. You know, what could go wrong? This Hansen guy seems kind of stupid. I think we can, uh, I, I think we can uh, fool him. I think we can trick this individual. Ah, uh, here we go. Found it. I found the little, I found the picture of this dude's legs. So when I'm talking about he's got holes in his legs from uh, rampant alcoholism and <laughs> diabetes, uh, I'm not joking. Uh, this is what this motherfucker's legs look like. Oh, wait, that's the wrong. Oh, do I have the wrong? Oh, boy. Ah, oh, you fucking up, buddy. What are you doing? That was the one we just looked at. All right, here we go. Here we go. Attempt number two. There we go. That's what his legs look like. I don't know how much liquor you've got to drink. To create a ring around your leg like that, but I'm pretty sure amputation is the end result. <laughs> I'm pretty sure if you're at this point of alcoholism and just bad dietary uh, takes, you know, in your daily life, you're going to lose those legs. They're not going to stick around for a while. It's eating into his flesh. It looks like he's been attacked by spiders, like brown recluses have lived in his legs. They're laying little, little uh, baby spiders in his socks and they're eating them at night. I don't really know how else to describe what I'm looking at. <laughs> it's just destruction. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Fun times. All right. Let's 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 take a look at uh, him peeing himself. So here's the... Uh, this should be the full image. It's a little hard to see. I don't think they left the image up. <laughs> the, the stream up. I think it got taken down for sexual content. Because, again, he whipped his cock out. But over the span of about three or four minutes, you can see that nice little damp spot right in the middle. He aimed the camera perfectly. So he gets he gets pass out drunk in his hotel room while live streaming on YouTube. Faces the camera directly at his balls. And then proceeds to piss himself in front of 2,000 people. That's, that. what a showman. What a showman. Who puts on entertainment like that? Here you are, a dude whose legs are falling off. <laughs> because there are holes forming in them, passing out in motels, pissing yourself nonstop. He even had people come in to try to help him. I believe this is beautiful. They were, they were walking in with toilet paper. Go to bed. Let them take your clothes off. What are you doing? I don't think one roll of toilet paper is going to do it, Bjorn. I'm, I'm going to be honest with you. I think at that point, you're kind of fucked. Because the guy got up earlier when he whipped his dick out. And he walked into the wrong side of the room. He's like, I have to go use the bathroom. He walks into the wrong side of the room where the bathroom would be. And you can start to hear him take a piss. So happy day for that maid. She gets to go into a room where a dude's going to take a giant whiz all over the walls, all over the bed, all over himself. Every place but the toilet. <laughs> they get to come in and clean it up. So in the midst of all of this. All this shit's going on with Blade. You've got the allegations from Gucci's from the RV trip, pissing himself, pulling his dick out. Fucking Chris Hansen. I have no idea why. Chris Hansen decides, I want to talk to this guy. I bet he's got the inside scoop on what it's like to live stream sexual assaults. Let me have Blade come on. So Blade goes and he does a show with motherfucking Chris Hansen of all people. It's crazy as shit. 
we're celebrating here with pizza. So we're going to have a bite of that from Patsy's right around the corner here. And uh, thank you for subscribing. Thank you for your support, both here and on HansonVersusPredators.com. I want to assure you we have a lot of new content coming, and we're very excited about all that. If you've been following the YouTube news, no doubt you know about the case of Only Use Me Blade. I, I, I can only say this. I hope to God Chris Hansen makes this into a thing. You know, To Catch a Predator was amazingly entertaining. If he comes out with a web show called To Catch a YouTuber, I would watch that shit every day. Because he sits down with Blade and gets him to admit all sorts of things. The, the entire video is like 47 minutes. We're not going to watch the whole thing. But he gets him to sit down and basically admit that he rehearsed his answers. He uh, he tricks him into admitting that there's his DNA in the RV. You know, Blade says, well, the cops came and they took the blankets and they took the bed and they took a bunch of other things to run forensics on. And Chris said, well, how are you going to explain if they do find your DNA in there? Most per Somebody would have been like, you know... It, he tricked him and basically to over explaining. So Blade's like, well, <laughs> Blade actually tells Chris Hansen this. He says, well, Chris, I masturbated furiously in the RV. You see, Chris, when people weren't around, I would go into the RV, get under the covers in the bed and just jack off like a bandit. I just couldn't help myself. I couldn't help myself, Mr. Hansen. Sometimes I needed some relief and the only relief I could get was jacking off like crazy in that RV. Brilliant. So, most assuredly, there's going to be DNA in there. <laughs> Fucking admits to. Oh, admits, admits to rehearsing his story before he goes on with Hanson. Name drops people that he was rehearsing doing it with. But the uh, favorite portion, my favorite portion of this, would of course be the call-in segment where people could ask Chris Hanson and Blade questions relating to uh, to what happened. I, I actually clipped one of these. Uh, probably the best question. Very on point. Let me see if I can find it for you, chat. I think you'll enjoy it. I don't have the exact time code, but I do have the video itself. Oh, I forgot. Uh, yeah, we've got a few, actually. Let me, let me just open up a few here. When Mr. Hansen asked him and said, Blade, why, do you, why is this happening to you? Why is she, uh, you know, putting these allegations of rape out against you? He told Chris Hansen, well, I'll let him explain it. Say that she was inappropriately touched. Why did she go to police and say that she was inappropriately touched or sexually assaulted by you? Um, so she was in contact with, um, I don't know if, if your community knows what doxers or swatters are. Um, she was in constant contact before this RV trip happened with um with members of teams that literally want to ruin irl streamers lives they call the police on people they get they get they call up shops that we visit to say that we're being inappropriate <laughs> smearing poop on stuff why did you so his cover story chris hansen asked this guy why did she accuse you of rape and his answer is there is a secret cabal of discord doxers that call people and tell them we smear shit on things <laughs> That's the motivation. She's working with the poop mafia. The doo-doo mafia is out to get me, Mr. Hansen. And this cabal of Discord doxers and their poop stories have ruined my credibility over the years. That's why she accused me of rape. People stopped believing that I was dropping deuces in the toy aisles at Walmarts and the places I was driving through. Poop stories just weren't enough anymore to destroy me. So she decided to up it a little bit with a rape accusation. But one of the call-in questions I think is very important, very pertinent for what we're talking about right now. Anything else? Uh, this was at the very tail end, the very tail end of the stream. Vincent, anything else? We'll take one more from the audience here. Yeah, it seems like you have an associate named Benjamin, possibly, and audience wants to know what he means by... Uh, it depends on the girl for the age of consent. There's a, a fellow named Benjamin who apparently is an associate of yours in this community who... I don't know any Benjamins. No so. Benjamin. Talking about no Benjamin. Uh, the age of consent and... No, um, I'm 36 years it. old. That's not what it is. Yeah, uh, Blade, could you explain to us about this Benjamin guy telling us it depends on the child when it comes to the age of consent? 
you want to you want to explain a little bit about your pal Benjamin and his hot takes on the age of consent? I wonder who he's referring to. I think I in the distance, but I can't confirm it. It's a little bit surreal watching Chris Hansen investigate fucking YouTubers. This Blade guy, it's like a walking trash fire. Holy shit. It's like every other day there's something crazy going on. I mean, they did a stream in between the rape allegation and the Chris Hansen interview where they got high on mushrooms and broke their phones and had a giant fight. It's I, I, don't, I don't think he's going to survive till the end of next month. At the right shit's going, we're going to have one hell of a finale. That's a crazy shit on the internet. It's mostly how I keep myself occupied watching this uh, disaster unfold. That is until today, where I got my ire up because Reset Era wants to run their fucking mouth about some guy's suicide and say it wasn't good enough. Again, really chaps my ass. Hate those fuckers. Hate them with a passion. Fuck cat ladies, chat. Fuck cat ladies. Fuck them, fuck them, fuck them. See, we've got some, some super chats here. Let me read some of these. If I can refresh this fucking page. All right. I'll just try to do them in order. Uh, bear with me. I'll jump around and do a few things here. All right. I think we're caught up. Let me, let me, let me alert the chat. I know people hate super chats, so I like to give you fair warning. Oh, where are we? Now you can't say I'm uninformed, Jim. I was unaware. Oh, you know, before I even get to that, let me, you know, let me back up a minute here. <laughs> let me back up. This is very spooky. You know, uh, the last stream I did, I talked about a few things. One was Blade, which we've covered again. The other was Mumpkey Jones. Apparently, Mumpkey Jones is not satisfied with just having one sex tape out there. He needs more. So there are now three Mumpkey Jones sex tapes circulating the Internet. One in which he apparently gets a blowjob from a chick wearing a diaper. <laughs> the other one where he fucks a chick that's asleep. I'd also like to point out that each one of these amazing sex tapes, under a minute long. Make of that what you will. <laughs> I, you know, I'd stop making sex tapes. I'd stop making sex tapes if they're under a minute long. Not really putting the best foot forward when it comes to amateur softcore, well, not softcore, amateur hardcore pornography. Maybe put a little... A little effort into it. <laughs> if you're going to last longer than a minute. Mumkey the Minute Man Jones. Or somebody said they wanted to refer to 45 seconds as a Mumkey Minute. More power to you. I like the way that's going. Oh, people say, yeah, that's apparently on Kiwi Farms. If, if you want to watch all the hot, sexy, Mumkey sex tape action, go on over to Kiwi Farms. That's apparently where they're keeping it. How, how do you keep doing this? Why why would you ever give an unstable girl, why would you ever give a crazy chick access to sex tapes? You know it's going to get leaked. Wh why would you, what made you think that was going to end well? What possible good outcome could come about from that? Oh, I trust this crazy lunatic bitch not to embarrass me and betray me and post sex tapes everywhere on the internet. Man, that is a brutal situation. Not only... Do you get cucked by a 15-year-old boy? She she chose a 15-year-old boy over you. She then shared your sex tapes with that kid, who then leaked it to everybody. So a 15-year-old boy feels so confident in his sexual ability, he's laughing at your sex tapes. And he's fucking your girl. That is brutal as shit. That is some brutal fucking shit. Don't stick your dick in crazy chat. It's not worth it. Sticking your dick in a lunatic will always come back to bite you in the ass. You don't want to be the next monkey. You don't want people critiquing your pornography performance while watching your fucking porno tape like it's a Zapruder film. Back and to the left. Back and to the left is where the nut shot goes. Not something you want to engage in. Just going to say. Just going to put that out there. All right. Let me get to these super chats. People paid money, so I should I should answer. Let's see what we got. From Mario Carter 13, shame you couldn't swing. Uh, swing it, now try the rafters. From Redacted, oy vey. Trump Nation, bitwave.tv slash M-E-V-E -E for the pre-show party. This is just a distraction. This is really 
a plus one to the Akkad body or the Akkad body count. It was or, or orchestrated to distract from the Chris Hansen investigation from Veggie Bad. Situation makes me want to have the duel to the death law reinstated. Challenge your accusers to a duel to the death for honor. From the narrator, how much more do I need to pay for this suicide DLC? I hear that's a free update. Everybody gets that DLC for free. Sean Turner. Good night, my sweet prince. I'll make sure to buy a hat on my way out. I blame Boulder, and we never figured out who done it. Mystery. F in chat. Oh, if you want to buy hats. Oh, let me be a hat merchant for a minute. Oh, I'm a fucking hat whore. Buy my hats. I'm hat funded now. Chat. Oh, look at those beautiful. You've never seen a hat that beautiful before. And there's a t-shirt to go with it. Buy, buy two. <laughs> Use the promo code Fuck me. To pay double the price. Not sure how it works, but Teespring was fine with it. From Kill Moose Kill, the Diaz brothers be killing you. Would you ever fight one of them? I don't know who the fuck they are. From Metacore's Lunicorn Archives. Oh no, a soy-filled bitch called Matt is coming after mine and other archiving channels. Whatever are we to do? A duck and cover would be the best bet. Trump Nation. Again, more bitwave.tv is the way forward. Bitwave is where you can say nigger in chat. From another nobody, apply sacred ointment to the start the stream, Mr. Popo. From Eddie Spaghetti, wait, Zoe Quinn made a juke kill himself. What did she do wrong here? Harsh. From Chris Logan, I thought they showed you. Uh, well, they tried to. I removed my videos preemptively after receiving a bullshit strike, put it on Bitwave, and Bitwave is where I will post future updates, future videos. I'll put little trailer videos up here when they're up on Bitwave if people want to go watch. From Ryan A, in all seriousness, does GG 2.0 ever need to exist? I would say no. From Gordon Freeman, what do you think about the news? Uh, the new news on Pro Jared? I saw his video. I, I have to say that was a phenomenally well done video. Phenomenally well done. Uh, Pro Jared put up a video explaining his side of it. If you remember, Pro Jared was the guy who's dick. Again, I don't know what it is with YouTubers putting their cocks out there for everybody to see, but Pro Jared was the guy that had the dick pics leak. Uh, divorced his wife on Twitter, <laughs> which is the dumbest shit on earth. But uh, when all this was going on, he had two two people claim to be underage, and both claimed that he uh, I I wouldn't say sexually what did he sexually groom them, sexually harass them. Uh, I can't remember the two's names, but he broke it down point by point on why he said it was fake. And I think one of the more compelling pieces of evidence he put forward was the fact that. One of the people involved who accused him quite literally had traumatic brain injury at the time, <laughs> was suffering a legitimate head wound, and it wrote blogs about how they couldn't remember things, and they got people's names wrong, and they imagined things. Like, that, that's like a one in a billion thing. Could you imagine you go to court over that, and then the person who's up there testifying and suddenly drops the information they had traumatic brain injury? <laughs> maybe weren't really telling the truth because they didn't know. Uh, but yes, I have seen the video. From Jackus, do you see what happens? Do you see what happens when you don't listen to Carl? Schmuckles at your bottom text. From Emperor Bots, I require the sex. The Turkish Zoo, sex for favors, secrets, cover-ups, and corruption. I've heard things that will blow your mind. And now I think it's time you get the whole story. I'm Jesse Ventura, and this is Quinspiracy Theory. From Zillion's Archive, sub to XYZ channel. Sorry for self-promo, but to the people that rely on me for archives, I can't upload for a week because of strikes. My good friend XYZ channel in my featured box will be uploading instead. Yeah, it sucks, man. Uh, I got hit with the... Yeah, I, I, I can almost understand We Was Kings because it skirted the line. I still think it's bullshit. But the ukulele video makes no sense to me. It's a minute long, and it's JonTron. All I did was put JonTron's audio back in ukulele. That's it. And that gets taken down for hate speech. It's fucking insane. From uh, Blizz8, I wonder if Zoe's fur burger tastes like five guys. From Gojira, have you heard of the Islamic Mickey Mouse ripoff that hates Jews called Fafur? It's hilarious. Uh, well, yes, I am familiar with Fafur. Uh... <laughs> I yeah, it's strangely enough I do I know who you're talking about. From Megan Gubney, uh, let's hope Zoe is the next to die in Minecraft. From Coyla Dante, 
when the baby hits 88 ends per hour in chat, you're going to see some serious reports. Black Cube Mystery, greetings from Florida, Hurricane Adjacent, Mandar 2020. Welcome home, Mr. Manchild from Girk Garb. That guy says hi. Hey, Daddy Jim, can you say, Jared, you're an asshole. Have a good weekend. Sword and scale, Mr. Medicare, I know things are bad. Please don't off yourself like the developer did. We need you and your fermented potato slurping take on things. From James uh, Beanick, almost as good as the Adam Worski song they did. From, <laughs> well, from 1488, and I'm going to say the full username because YouTube doesn't mind. I'll say that again. From the user, Nick1488, take a look at the 317 and how these Syrians made a mistake. Hillary Clinton funded, funded, and then there's a URL. From Conrad Sutherland, here's my mandatory contribution. From Victor Phantasm, damn it, boss, I have to drive three and a half hours, two hours through a dead zone, and I'll miss most of the stream. Get busy, Medicarist. From Salty Pickle, the only good news this weekend is about a suicide. From Ryan A., well, your new website, the name is censored here. Have your old videos from 10 years ago. Stuff that never made the archive, or is it gone? Talking about the Let's Plays and shit like that? That's that's long dead. I mean, I, I think the Punch-Out stuff is out there, but that's about it. They're not that good anyway. They're just Let's Play videos. From Black Daddy, Hail Medicare, love your stream, Hail War Campaign. From 30-year-old Boomer, I see a lemon in a key. Padre Speaks, how long until someone honey pot, or honeypots Zoe? I don't know. From Macro Molecule Gaming. It doesn't matter what happened. Just remember, Zoe Quinn was bullied into doing it. From James O'Shaughnessy. I'm here before this gets shut down. If she goes after 10K sub Matt, she'll go after this. Gamergate 2.0. Monday Matt is erect. From Morgan Earp. Quinn Quinn, worse for your health than a five liters of gin. Quinn Quinn, worse for your health uh, than five liters of gin. Threw it out there twice. From Honkamania117, Jim, Gamergate 2 is here. Time to call Internet Aristocrat to come out of retirement. <laughs> no, I don't think so. From uh, Demothians, I probably butchered it, hashtag Zoe Body Count. From Yamigo, hey blonde, you know what you are? Just another dirty SOB. They good, they bad, the ugly seems to fit to you. Uh, from Mashup Potatoes, the individualism rises. Jack Paul, love you, Jim, please never leave us. Lemon Shark, free my man, Sab, he deserves out. Spanish Inquisition, Sargon predicted this. Another nobody, MJ investigated 10 years, Epstein, who's that guy? Yeah, I'd like to point out the ridiculous shit again of uh, Epstein. The, everything about the story makes no sense. His cellmate gets moved out of his cell. He's mysteriously taken off of Suicide Watch. He's allowed materials to uh, hang himself. The guards that working aren't really guards, and they fell asleep. And at the same time, both the cameras outside his cell malfunctioned. Can we just call it what it is? He was killed. Joseph Epstein was killed so he couldn't give information that would lead to the arrest of elites. I think that's uh, fairly evident. From Kara Boga, why are you streaming now, Jim? Uh, Jade's bull is ready to be prepped. You know he doesn't like to wait. Well, that is true. I better hurry. From Victor Phantasm. By the way, boss, Dami says Matt has been flagging you. Well, I don't think Matt can flag anything at the moment. There are no videos. It's okay. Hey, Jimbo, have some shekels for me. I'm here at work watching the stream. Stay frosty, you bad, bad man. From Incel Man 2011. Bought your hat a while ago and still have enough money to shill for my favorite Ehor. Keep up the good stuff, Jim. From Trues. What dreams of Monday and Matt holding a pocket knife to my neck, forcing me to kiss him while YouTube channels go down left and right on his computer screen. From uh, under, I guess, underscore. Israel is your best friend, Goy. Give them shekels. I'll make sure to jump on that. Lifeless loser. Hey, Jim, wanted to make sure you know about hiding in my room. He makes weird serial killer videos. Got a UTI from his sex doll. Can't tell if it's real. I'll definitely check that out. Is that up on YouTube or is that on BitChute? Because it feels like if you do a video on serial killers on YouTube, you're fucked. Like that, I think, is going to be the next thing. If uh, you Check this out. Go look up, uh, just enter Columbine as a search term you will find nothing. There used to be a ton of videos about it, even just news coverage of it, and a lot of it's been wiped out. Uh, from Justin Lewis, it's over, gamers. We rose up, but another has fallen. Why are we even fighting for? Five years of rising up, and all we have left is John and Jared. Maybe we were on the wrong side all along. That's something to, something to think about. Another person, uh, talk about Pro Jared's recent video, already did. Matt Fields, groom me harder, daddy. Hashtag Zoe Quinn body count. 
from Gojira. Maybe if Matt hung himself after Zoe flagged him, she would have left sooner. J Taki 12, Death Stranding hype is real. Looks whack. From Xenophagia, it should have go or it should have been Zoe. Jason Weaver, so glad you're back on YouTube. Take it easy. 3 by 4 Architect, more Epstein. I'd love to cover, you know, more Epstein. I might actually put it to a video. Uh, I was covering it in streams, but until I find an alternative streaming platform, maybe like a big Epstein video. Just doing the timeline from the moment he was arrested to the moment he died and covering all the ridiculous shit that was involved in that. From Wild Doggo. Hey, Jim. Just graduated from boot camp. What happened to all your videos? Uh, started getting taken down. Tried to appeal one of them. Wouldn't go through. Figured this is probably it. Uh, YouTube is going to just purge my shit regardless of what I do. So took them down, and I will post trailers to new videos, and those new videos will be up on BitChute. And when I figure out a streaming solution, I will inform you guys of where it is. From Shepperton Studios. No one tells Sargon about this. <laughs> From Chad Thundercock. How are you enjoying Control, Tim or Jimothy? I actually like Control. Now, Control is a game where I'd say maybe about two thirds into it, it starts to lose its way. But it feels like it feels like it's one of those games where if they did a sequel and they really kind of expanded on the loops and the features they have in place, it could be really good. Like when the combat's going on and you're hucking shit everywhere and shit's exploding everywhere, that feels really good. And I, you know, I like the whole creepy pasta s uh, s uh, SCP shit. Like um, that's good. Like the backstory is good. I don't know. It just feels like a game that maybe got rushed at the last portion of it. And uh, I have some gripes about that. But I am enjoying it. It is a good game. Uh, from Richard Gruber. Take some of my hurricane preparation money. Dorian is a homo storm. T-Clips don't get it. Love Israel labeled alt-light. Matt, guitar player. Epstein got Clinton. Jarbo gets Quinned. When? Apache helicopter. Hey, Jim. Pretty sure that the Boulder Goblin was behind the false flags. Also, best way for incels to lose their V-card is to review a Zoe Quinn game. <laughs> from Edward Ramirez shout out to Almighty Egg Gang Gang stay back Trevor Travels the World hashtag free Hong Kong from the good meme just got to the stream laughing like hell but what's going on ah, well Zoe Quinn got a guy to kill himself and Reset Era is applauding it and you've got a bunch of other people uh, like one guy that wants to see chicks jack horses off telling everybody to be adult about it from the orange cow he grabbed her by the pussy manofculture.jpg from official smugly frog kicked down the door unannounced while she lay on the couch from Yamigo uh, this is kind of my guilty pleasure listening to you I'm an SJW from Denmark uh, well enjoy yourself Guy Safari bit shoot is from Europe it probably won't last stay safe forever friend the memes of destruction hey, gu or, hey guys what's going on had a great day in Boston today at the restore rally to restore sanity to turtles but seriously, Jim, how do magnets even work? I don't know. It's a mystery. From Giles Kangaroo. This guy treated Zoe like a ventriloquist dummy. He put his hand between her legs and made her lips move. <laughs> I The mechanics of it, I'm trying to really imagine the mechanics of how you grab a woman by the pussy and drag her around her room. From Oliver Sweeney. After continuing the Deviant series with the new platform, or are you continuing the Deviant series with the new platform? I want to see you do weeaboo videos and other things in the intro song. I'm actually going to do, uh, I, I wanted to do a series on furries, but there was, like with the Deviant stuff, I could show you kind of censored things, so it worked, but like the furfag shit, I can't, like I couldn't post the degenerate shit they're really into, but now I can. So I'll have an animal control series, uh, I don't know what I'll call it exactly, but yeah, I, I'm excited. There, there's a lot of shit uh, that I've actually wanted to do, and now I can actually do it. I can't, I can't get censored. I can say all the naughty words I want to say and laugh at all the fucked up people I want to laugh at. And they can just seethe about it. Dilate harder. It's nothing you can do about it. From Matthew Beatty. Imagine telling people a guy walked to you like a dog in your apartment, <laughs> jamming fingers into your snatch. From Moonvlad, it ain't liquored up and live unless there's finger in. From Pinky Culture, this is a real sequel to Gamergate. From down forward punch, Zoe Quinn has a higher body count than Kiwi Farms. Rexilius, he took the advice from Epstein. Bed, neck, break. From Ethereal, when he first made the Five Guys video, could you ever imagine this is where it would lead? It's all just so tiresome. Uh, no, I can honestly say this is not where I'd imagine it would lead. I did not imagine I'd listen to a woman give a 
uh, a tearful recounting of uh, the time a guy drug her around by her pussy. <laughs> From Snake, I wonder how Halwaka died. Soy overdose. From Same no Suke, Tay was right about Unburned Witch. F for Tay. The Mind Corporation, Sargon's wish is coming true in accordance with Terry A. Davis' teachings. We need to rise up. Gave up on trying to type any of the phrases he uses. Oh, I'm sure the glow-in-the-dark one's going to be censored if you went for it. Kill shot, Kenny. This is actually rather heartbreaking. If Zoe's lying, she should face prison. Dave Chappelle, or Dave Chappelle was right. Cancel culture is evil. From PCG Online. Did you have, or did he have information that would lead to the arrest of Hillary Clinton? It's potential. Potentially. From Sublin. Gamergate 3 takes another life. Who will be the next victim? I don't know. Who's next on the chopping block? Maybe Zoe's going to go for the OGs. Maybe she's going to go for the, uh, the original founders of Gamergate, which, as we all know, is Matt Jarbo. Matt Jarbo is solely responsible for the creation of Gamergate. I, I think we should pray for Matt Jarbo. I think Matt Jarbo is next on Zoe Quinn's kill list. Uh, rip and pepperoni, buddy. Rip and pepperoni. From Jack Hazardous, evil always wins, and there will be no heroes to save us from evil people. They destroy the people who see through them, and everyone else just believes. From Moderator Marcy, Wulad, what a dumpster fire. Gamergate 2.0 has officially begun. Maybe the internet or Instagram will come out of hiding. Maybe you could call Jaden and do some yoga on live stream. Now I think I'm good. Well, I, I may do some yoga later, but it won't be on live stream. And I think I'm going to stay away from Gamergate. Uh, 2.0, 3.0, 5.7, 83 and a fourth. I, I think I'm good. I'll let, I'll let some brave freedom fighters uh, come in and do that on their own. I'll, I'll applaud them from the sideline. From James Beanick, a woo, teleport behind you, jams fingers inside you. From Ogurk, the world is ended, feminist most affected. From We Was Kings, a little destiny. Moist John, little destiny, Jim, it can't get any smaller. I know, it's remarkable, isn't it? From Skig, you should be near the top of YouTube Live, but you're not. The censorship is real. You are in Google's crosshairs. From Merlo Williams, holy shit, boss. I've heard you get there. I haven't heard you get this worked up since you blew the fuck out of Baked Alaska. Angry Jim is best Jim. From Griffin Gaming. Thank God Sargon didn't win MEP. We need him to lead the charge in Gamergate 2.0. Oh, thank God. From Ghosty. Gas, gas, gas. Trump Nation. Jim, did you see the 5D multimedia extravaganza in New York, or the New York Times did on the fifth anniversary of Gamergate? Just Google New York Times, what is Gamergate? <laughs> I think I'm good. Uh, there's a message deleted. Not sure if the user did that or if Google did it. Uh, from the Mind Corporation, I welcome the caliphate for the girls' sakes. From asphyxiation, there's something oddly cathartic about listening to you when you're angry. Maybe because it feels like sincere fury. It's soothing like a balm. Also, you enjoying the Funimation leaks from Nick? Yes, I am. Uh, I, I was listening to some of it over the past couple of days, but yes, I am enjoying that. Uh, the super chat, by the way, if you're listening, refers to Nick Ricada. I was putting, putting on some really fantastically entertaining streams about uh, all this shit. Uh, I would check it out if you get a chance. He usually streams on the weekdays, Monday through Friday in the evenings. Hopefully more uh, entertaining shit coming up. From Black Cube Mystery, when do we initiate the day of the rope and purge all these degenerates by right of the Divine Inquisition boss? Also, are you streaming with David Stay? Yeah, you know, I do want to stream with David, but crazy shit keeps happening. First I get booted off DLive, and then my videos start getting flagged. So I... I will work it out. But yes, I want to I want to stream with David Stay again. He's a fucking funny guy. Uh, very laid back. Enjoy him. I will get that set up. Spiffy Fishface, here's five bucks in honor of roasting some scum. Free speech, yes. Love your content, by the way. From the Eagle Spurch, or Eagle Spur, or Perch, Jesus. Uh, I'm sorry that Quarry flagged all your videos. If it is awful, someone living in uh, a condemned area can still do damage to you. Uh, it's amazing. Drive-by commentator. All these SJWs have become... Uh, become entertainment. What Columbine copycats are two responsible gun owners? Spoiling it all validates their own misery. From Metacore's Ludicorn Archives, deep fake is funny, but it should terrify you. How long until it's used to smear politicians uh, progressives don't like? How long until the FBI can use it to make up evidence to convict you? In the year 2525, I'm glad I won't be alive. Uh, here's my take on deep fakes. I find the Jordan Peterson thing funny, but it is terrifying. And it's not just audio. I mean, there's, there's software to manipulate video, too. So, really, I, you're going to look at a situation where 
you're going to have to have multiple people. Like, you won't be able to take audio on its own anymore seriously. And you won't even be able to take audio and video when it's just one person seriously. You'll need other people in the video that you can then corroborate with to make sure what was said was actually said. Because they can manipulate what it sounds like you're saying and they can make it look like you said it now. And uh, it's amazing to me that uh, these different companies that are putting this technology together and putting it out there, they I think they know. I think they understand it's going to be horribly abused. Uh, it'll be funny, but it's going to be awful. From uh, Calden Ear, I'm a degen porn artist, but even I still appreciate your criticisms. Uh, I, I feel pity for artists that have to draw porn. There is no shittier job <laughs> on the internet than having to draw degenerate porn. Now, I'm sure you love your craft, but I'm talking mostly about the people that, uh, even if they're porn artists, that get stuck having to do commissions. Because there's got to be nothing more soul-breaking than being a talented artist. And if you're, if you're drawing your own comic or you're doing your own porn or whatever, and you enjoy it and it's yours and you're creative, but you got to pay rent, right? So you open it up to commissions and then you got people saying, hey man, could you draw me a picture of a living mop shitting in the mouth of a dragon? Like that's my finish. I need a living mop taking a deuce right in a dragon's mouth. <laughs> can, you, can you send me that picture? I'll pay you 20 bucks. Like, after, after a few hundred of those, you must just want to just end it. From Matthew Beatty, Zoe touched my boy Wolf. This is unacceptable. We must stand for Wolf. The mean meme man. I'm a raging homosexual and used to fall asleep to your succulent voice. Keep on keeping on, Medicare. Hurry up and wait. Wolf got it worse than Brent Spiner. Fuck you, Google. Wolf's assault was Gale level, I hear. Uh, again, from Underscore, the people need to know if Zoe jammed her fingers into Wolf and walked him around the room. How dry do you have to be, by the way? If you're a woman, how dry do you have to be down there that you can get a grip and actually drag you around? You need something to grip onto. It should be slippery, but somehow he's got himself in there. And he's got such a, he's got such, maybe he used some like, uh, uh, as seen on TV product, like a Wonder Putty. Maybe he bought like Wonder Putty, some old Billy Mays product and spackled her up and then jammed his hand in there and waited for it to seal so he could drag her around the living room. The logistics of this confuse me. From Mr. Shades, ever watch Fafor, the Palestinian Mickey Mouse? Yes, I've seen that. Uh, Cody Rush, Jim, will you be playing WoW Classic? Nope. <laughs> Isn't WoW Classic being ruined by streamers right now? I'm fairly certain I heard the biggest complaint was streamers fucking that up for everybody. Uh, from fucking Freddy, I outed some fake truthers. Monty attacking now. Check it out. Uh, not kidding. Could you show... Could you show fake child advocate spammers working on YouTube? Big channels involved. Yeah, you gotta uh, send the information to my good friend, Mr. Anti-Bully. I, I don't know what you mean by, like, fake child advocate scammers. Like, what big channels are involved? Maybe it's like a better help shit where DeFranco and others were advertising this scam and then everybody pulled back from it when it got exposed. Something like that, I'm guessing. Uh, from Snake, Gamergate 3.0, just tweet Trump about it. From Lusty Amato, play the Mr. Popo gay orgy clip from the Funimation leaks, then transcribe it to the Jordan Peterson voice bot. That's a good idea. Double zero, lol, babies eternally blown the fuck out. Jessica Eustace, Clown World has more twists than a Shyamalan movie. Pay no attention to my dark, violent past while I project it on this innocent person. Honk honk. Thoughtful opinions, love the rants, please never change. From Joseph S., do not forget that these people want you broke, dead, your kids raped and brainwashed, and they think it's funny. And in death, they'll say you didn't do enough or sacrifice enough for them. Honk. From Hitler Chant, you should have listened to Sargon when he told you about Gamergate 2. Also, check out the straight pride parade, Cringe Overload. From The Dank Leaf, how are you doing and what do you think of Boogie 2988? Well, every time somebody brings up Boogie, I hear he's tragically died. This man has tragically died at least 800 times by this point. From the Almighty Lolly, any idea who flagged you? Dame Pesos blames Jarbo. I, I don't know. Like I said, I'd love to be able to say, hey, this is who did it. But I made videos making fun of everybody, and I pissed off enough people at this point that I've got my own Legion of Doom. My own autistic Legion of Doom. <laughs> Nefariously plotting away to teach me a lesson. I don't know who did it. Take your pick. Take your pick of whatever group might have been the one to do it. From uh, Joey Jojojo, 
I just wanted to play a video game. Why do they come back to my hobbies? Even Japan isn't safe from uh, seeing Sony censorship and Team Ninja cucking Dead or Alive 6. From Bibro 3000, your content sucks. Why am I paying you? I don't know. You should ask again with a higher denomination. Maybe we can get to the bottom of this. From Shane Shishon, Jim, when will you make the MRA series? You know, I never got around to that. And then I saw that Amos Yee came back. Now, Amos Yee was a guy that uh, I'm convinced, at least partially, is playing up the whole uh, child sex advocacy shit uh, as a bit. I think he's trolling for attention. He's an attention whore. Uh, but maybe maybe some of it's real. Anyway, Amos Yee comes back, and Shoe on Head takes a shit on him. And who do you, who do you know pops up to defend Amos Yee? The fucking puppet guy. The same puppet guy that got mad at me for going after uh, Ross who is a, a crazy, violent, self-confessed pedophile. He got mad at me for making fun of Ross, and then he got mad at Shoe on Head for making fun of Amos Yee. So maybe I will continue that MRA series. Maybe I'll start it with Mr. Puppet Man. From Dingo Tamer, could this take end with Phil Fish and Zoe Quinn LARPing as Romeo and Juliet? Fatty Catty, can you make a playlist of all the songs you use in vids, memes, and uh, so on? Also, there was one song, Could You Pull the Trigger, Fire the Gun? Something along those lines. Any idea what vid it was? Uh, yeah, I think it was a promo I did for the... <laughs> for the <laughs> around Monday Matt. Uh, it's like a Monday Matt joke video. I'll see if I can find it. I'll try to dig it up. From Justin Warmke. Any thoughts of Pro Jared's rebuttal? Uh, already talked about it. K Condor. Unrelated, but what do you think of the new Joker? Are you talking about the one in the Mortal Kombat 11 DLC? Because that looks like shit. It looks so awful compared to all the other renders. I, I don't know what's going on with that. From Fanthros, are you plan or are you still planning on doing a Deviants episode on Bronies over on BitChute? It's one I've been waiting for since you started the series. Uh, yeah, uh, I want to. Well, let me work first on the shooter thing and the furry thing, and I'll, I'll see where I go from there. Uh, great or er, Gregory Bagosian, Free Palestine, from Hero Jim. You once said on stream that there, or er, you once said in stream that you are the PC one in the relationship. Was Jade always based? If not, give me a quick how to train your Hapa for my Hapa girlfriend. Thanks. Uh, yes, I am the <laughs> I am the limp shit in the relationship. If you want to put it that way, I'm not I'm not even a limp shit. I uh, she's she's the type that I have to be careful where I take her. Otherwise, we're gonna get assaulted by a, a minority mob. All right, <laughs> I can't I can't let her hot takes out of the house for fear of what that will do to our safety. From Rusty Cheese Knife. Mike Enoch from TRS said they're leaving YouTube as well. Sven thinks the alt-right should just mass swarm YouTube with channels. Make life hell for Google. I, I don't know. I don't know what the answer is. I think the times have changed. I think YouTube is, has set its way and it wants to remove people. And I think it's all leading up to the next election. I, I've said this consistently now for about six months. Um, you know, I don't... I, if you're listening to this, I don't know what your political affiliation is. But I, I'm putting money down on the fact that Google employees are mad that Trump got elected. They look at it as their fault for allowing it to happen. And they are going to do their damnedest to make sure any channel, whether it's right-leaning or even maybe centrist, is prevented from talking about this upcoming election. They want their coverage, and they want the most eyes on streams that are more left-leaning. And so I, I think this is all in preparation for that. I think you're going to see more channels get wiped out pretty soon. Uh, from CC, shout out to the agent proper and the DIA, Matthew Beatty. Sargon called the gym. I couldn't believe it at the time. Thought he was full or full of it. Crazy motherfucker was right. Gamergate 2.0. From Gregory again, that sits on a solid 3.5 out of 5. Shepperton Studios, I'm friends with one of her exes. She lied to him by telling him she got ran over by a car? Are we talking about Zoe? Zoe lied to somebody and said she got hit by a car, did she? From Cy Brav, Zoe looks like a Portland stripper. Zuko, your crew, a heart. Butchered that. Jam them in, and I'll Epstein you. From Elden the Blue, I had actually considered a career in game development. All the BS like this made me lose interest. Also, I don't want to move to California and catch super aids while I'm taxed into oblivion. From Russ Daddy, I was going to try to type up an anti-Israel joke, but my dog started pissing on the carpet. Too long, didn't read, my dog's a Mossad agent. Uh, thoughts and prayers. From Jessica Eustace, watch out, Jim, they know your real name. Who are you? Have you heard of MAP's minor attracted persons who are trying to justify and normalize pedophilia and squeeze them into the LGBT? 
pretty degenerate. Uh, yes, I have heard of the term. I think we watched a video about these people on one of the streams on Streamy. From jo uh, Jonas Trabert, Reset Era and the like have so much power over us because our game dev contracts have social media clauses that can get us fired on the spot for being offensive. Most of us just shut up. From Red Cannon Fodder, Funimation. Banana Tardis, Jim, if that theory... Uh, Jim, if that theory turns out to be true, made the Twinks suicide a martyr for their income to come back? I don't... <laughs> oh, about the money thing? Yeah. I, again, that's not my theory. I've heard people saying that's something that's going on. You'd have to look into it. I don't follow these fucking people, so I don't know what their financial situation's like. From Zugzug Zug Zugzugson, just got banned in chat on Classic WoW for saying, Figit and Trade Chat, literally impossible to play now, and that's besides the trash servers... Just like you remember it from 2004, right, guys? From Andy Visseroni. Hey, uh, hey, man, always loved the vids, but never really had the time to catch any of these streams except for now. Got to show some love to Jim Wicks, pissing off half of YouTube and giving us entertainment. Love it. From Leather Caller. I bought a jumper, hat, and cup from your shop, and honestly, the jumper is comfy as hell. Kept me warm in the Tasmanian winter. 10 out of 10 recommend. Best wishes to you. Oh, any, any opportunity. It gives me a chance to whore for my hats. Oh, yes. Oh, finally made, finally crafted. I don't know if you know this about my ch or my hats chat, but they're all handmade in Israel. <laughs> Every hat you buy from me supports the Jewish people. And I know how I know how you don't like those anti-Semites. So every hat you buy is is a thumbs up to Israelis. Got to you got to show that love, show that support. It's an international effort. From Black and Yellow, thanks for the grooming, Jimmo, came in handy while dealing with autistic fur fags, pretending to have multiple personalities and asking to see my dick. From Hero, Jim, do you listen to K-pop? What's your favorite girl group? Have you ever heard of, have you ever heard of Twice? Uh, no, not really. Uh, the only, the only, I guess, J, what well, be J-pop, would be, um, Baby Metal. Just because I like the gimmick. I thought it was a good gimmick. Uh, Justin Blood, Medicare is beating the internet. You may outlast DSP. Fuck you, Google those legs. Jesus, I drank one half to a full liter of 100 proof vodka a day for almost a decade before quitting and never had anything like that. I don't know how he did it to himself. From Richard Gruber, my dad drank like a fish, like a handle of pop-off and sitting in the chair for three days, his legs looked like uh, this fat boy. Ryan A, are you and Sargon ever going to stop being gay and make up? I'm not going to make up with a retard. That tried to smear me as a pedophile because I made fun of his fucking suit. From Void Destroyer, seeing a couple of Danish viewers in Super Chats, even a Seath Watcher, represent brother. Speaking of which, I've noticed there's an overlap of you and Seath in terms of viewership. Uh, probably not anymore. I don't have any <laughs> I don't have any videos to watch. From Eduardo Ramirez. Bjorn gets uh get out now. That place is uh to Zeke Rip Jasper. From Matthew Beatty, Comet Pizza Chris. From Blaze8, IGN's Facebook page posted the article about Alex. The comments are great. I'll have to take a look at that. From Damn2K16, yay Mediker, private skeleton. I remember seeing necrotic leg like that on the addicts or addicts beggars back on the streets in uh, PR. I hope they didn't give her a disease. Yeah, I don't know what's going on with that dude's legs, but that is so, there's something really fucked up. From Jessica Eustace, the Jedi mind trick is real, but the only user is Chris hunting for kitty meat. Why don't you have a seat, Hanson? We are getting caught up. I am sorry, Chad. I'm trying to read through these in a punctual manner. I'm very slow. I could be one of those streamers that just has them shoot past on screen. But if you're kind enough to send them, I'm kind enough to respond. Let's see. There's some people that sent in some Streamlabs. From Mr. Pro Bully. Just a daily reminder that Geek Thulu went full mundane mat and told Cognitive Thoughts to stay the fuck back. And aim, aim, aim for the flag button. Flagging him 30 plus times in one day. From Luke of Light 69. Any chance you'll cover the Vic Funimation fiasco? Uh, if you're interested in that, I'd, again, recommend Nick Ricada. Uh, he's been covering it quite a bit. He's got all the information, all the clips, all the people. He's got it covered. That's the guy you want to check out. Nick Ricada, again, Monday through Friday, I believe every evening. But you can check out his Twitter and get the information for when he's running the next show. From Bo Terraco, have you uh, have you seen the Pro Jared apology video? Yes, I have. JC Gaming, Zoe Quick, <laughs> Zoe Quickie is a terrorist. Changed my mind. From Silvercast, 
Don't stop what you're doing, Jimbo. Thank you. Uh, Jordan Scott Mills. Oi, Gavolt, Jim. $3 and only 200 characters. Do I have to remind you that this is what happened before they threw us in the show of showers? I'll be writing the Anti-Defamation League now. Oh. Well, I hope your asthma doesn't get active. From 10 bucks Stew. This wouldn't have happened if you just got Donald Trump to tweet about Goygate, <laughs> Jimbo. Zoe would have no power if you just trusted the plan. It's a blue falcon. Careful, Jim. The tranny mafia is going to get you, too. From Tiberian Fiend. Jim, show us Sir Ethan Ralph's beautiful ode to you during the break. And Fisherman Talib, uh, how do you remain so happy all the days? I've never seen you uh, have any bad days. Any tips? Ock, ock, ock. Uh, it's not that you remain happy. It's just, I guess you just roll with the punches? I don't know. Get, I'll get back to you when I when I have something truly horrific happen, like I get hit by a bus or some shit. When I get hit by a bus and I'm all gimped up and I can't walk and shit, <laughs> I'll get back to you then. You're going to ask me, why are you so happy? Why are you so happy that gimpy? All right, let me see here. Uh, okay, where are we? Uh, from Edward Ramirez. Now, wait a minute, Sargoon. No, Benny Boy. No. Cron Gamer. Hey, Jim, what's going on at the moment? Just finishing up the stream. Gamer's Hands Jr., Fuck cat ladies, and I'm allergic to cats. Here's five bucks. The Turkish Zoo, Boogie just killed himself, rip. Uh, did Zoe Quinn accuse him too? From Jake Cole, your thumbnail is torture. I'm stuck in an army barracks with nothing to eat but stop, or but slop, and you flaunt five guys. Hurt me more, Daddy Jim. Well, it's probably not good for your cholesterol. Actually, five guys, it's pretty delicious. I'll be honest, I'm sorry. I know it's painful, but God, it is good. From Amon, why? The hardest part about joining Reset Era is telling your parents that you're gay. Uh, very true. Red Cannon Fodder, we got new Funimation news. Roadkill Phil, make a bigger hat so I can buy one. From Zypher, love your streams, Jim. Get yourself some smokes on me, bud. Oh, thank you. Uh, Caleb Lambright, hey, Jim. Can't believe I missed this. Shameful. Hopefully somebody will mirror it later on. Uh, Cypher, uh, I'm sorry, Cherry Cypher, where are you uploading your videos? Over on BitChute. You know, I'll throw this up on screen while I read the rest of these. There we go. Again, if you want to watch future videos, that's where they'll be. And I'm working on bulk uploading uh, the old ones. Amazing 1985, what happened? What I miss? Zoe drove somebody off a cliff. Uh, Spiffy Fish Face, do you think any of this will have any sort of meaningful impact on Zoe Quinn and the sales of NITW, oh, Night in the Woods? Or is it too early to tell? I don't know where it's going to go. You know, my gut feeling tells me they're going to just twist it into something about how they're the victim. And in two weeks, they will try to shrug it off. That That's my honest take on it. Maybe I'm being a little defeatist. I thought the Epstein thing was going to go somewhere. But then he got Clinton inside his jail cell with sleeping guards who weren't supposed to be working there and malfunctioning cameras. So who knows? So who, who knows which way that's going to go? From Zug Zug Zugginson, what's black steals a lot and usually in a cage? Black bears and black Well, that's... That's terrible. I don't co-sign that. I don't co -sign. That's not me, sir. I'm multicultural and diversity loving. Wild burn. Two questions. Why didn't marry a lovely potato nigga? Also, what's your opinion on the Lizard King, Jimbo? P.S. Fug. Fat Jarbo. Well, uh, I didn't want to share my potatoes. I'm oh, Lizard King, you gotta... I, I need more information on who that is. From Shepperton Studios, Shep is the best pupper. Skeet neat, those evil Nazis are having a straight pride parade and it's oppressing those poor little faggots. Someone should stop those mayo devils. From Geeseberry, good luck finding a new home daddy. Retards, rise up. From Kyo Meadow, I wonder if Zoe Quinn will be ads to... <laughs> Wait, I wonder if Quinn's will be ads to her own body count. I don't know. From SS Oi, what do you got against uh, our sacred TF2? Nothing. Everybody loves hats. From Odd Richard. What are your thoughts on Funimation Leaks and Chris Sabat casting couch? Also, Sean Schmiel hates gaffes. Everybody uh, remember that Sean hates gaffes. Like I said, I'm, I'm enjoying the shit show that's going on right now. Uh, Rakeda, I think, has the best coverage of it. I, I don't know. If other people are covering it, I'm unaware. So if you've got more coverage of it, feel free to send it to me. I just know that Nick has been covering it mostly. From Tiny uh, Kitsune 038. Uh, hi, Jim. Love the content. Keep up the great background noise. The Nickerman, Hanson in the same stream, asked about Groypers. Yeah, he, he was talking about a lot of crazy shit. <laughs> what did he... He brought up the legend fart sniffer or something like that? It's It was a really bizarre, surreal interview. Pretty good shit, though. 
from Stoner Shag. What do you think of Kiro's charges being dropped in New York? I, I, I'm behind on that. I didn't know that happened. I'll have to read up on it, I guess. Metacore's Lunacorn Archives. Jared's video is nothing new if you read his thread on Kiwi Farms. And he's still an ex... Excuse me. Oh, boy. He's still an exceptional individual who threw his dick pics left and right. Had a bit of a DSP moment there. I couldn't help myself. Ak, ak, ak. So I almost belched on stream. That's my inner... It's my inner dark side coming out. Old angry normie. Fuck the world tonight on my YouTube channel. Tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern will feature guest John McAfee. Unless he gets swept away by a hurricane. And that's old angry normie. From Raku Shashu. Hey Jim, can you please watch this video? Fat German Dragon Lord proposing to online girlfriend during your live stream. English subs. It's funny as hell. Search for this and you should find it. Uh, maybe, maybe on another stream. I'm, I'm just wrapping this one up. I, I think, is that the, is that the dude that people trolled the shit out of? They'd show up to his fucking house and <laughs> scream shit in his window and drive him crazy? Is that who we're talking about? Was that the chick who tricked him into thinking they were going to be boyfriend, girlfriend, and then, uh, shit on him? I think I've seen that video. From Possum King, get money, buy hats, F cat ladies, and smoke camels. Nicholas Littlefield, thanks Sargoon to get Trump, uh, to talk about Gamergate. Now he's wanting to ban violent video games and hate speech. Thanks, Carl. Still waiting on my appetizers. From Foxman2248, nerds rise up. Trump Nation Jim, Bitwave really is something you should consider. If you have any questions or concerns, shoot me an email. And uh, I don't know if you want me reading your email off, so I won't. From Maddox1000, are you going to do a stream on Extreme Sovereign Citizens, or was that idea scrapped? Uh, well, when I can find a better streaming place, yes. From Mark A, did you hear the Forever 12 creator is a pedo? Uh, nope, news to me. Uh, Joey, the king of Hyrule. What is up, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube? Boogie2988 coming at you live once again through the power of the internet. From Turbo, repent for sol er, social injustice now, dilator. From Sivrian Phoenix, I came in late. Can I get a quick summary of what I missed? Uh, Night in the Woods dev was accused of being abusive in a relationship. He was accused by Zoe Quinn. He ended up killing himself. Uh, all the people that threw him onto the bus are now sh uh, kind of slinking away to avoid this. And we still have the unanswered question of what happened to Wolf. If we're supposed to believe all survivors, if we're supposed to jump on that Me Too bandwagon while somebody's accusing Zoe Quinn of sexually harassing them, I think we need to, we need to get the facts of what was going on there. Uh, from Putty Tat, apparently the creator of a show called 12 Forever is a Pedo. Man, who could have saw that coming? Jay Taylor, do we owe Sargon an apology for doubting his Gamergate sequel? And white genocide, hail our people. Andrew England is the best Republican. From Deity Link 7 hey Jim, thanks for making another shit bearable. But for real, if it wasn't so infuriating, I'd be, it'd be the death of comedy on Earth. From Picklemaster, how long until Boogie dies for real? Well, he's lost a lot of weight. He'll probably be around for a while. Terry Cole, can't wait for Peterson Lloyd anime cover songs. Mario Kart 13, after the butt is a throbbing horse cock. Alex Better, what do you think of Sticks Hex and Hammer 666? You know, I, I, he's still around and kicking. I don't know if YouTube will fuck with him, uh, but if he starts to cover like, the election stuff coming up in 2020, I, I get a feeling they're going to gun for him, but he already has backups in place. Like, he's been on BitChute forever, and I think he's got a really large sub base over there, and he always puts his videos up there. So he's kind of insulated. I think he'll be fine. From uh, Trez Silverwolf, were you able to catch the straight pride parade? The gay protesters were fist-pegging mad? Uh, no, I missed that. Legato Mati, what's the deal with eggplant? It's not a plant or an egg. Tom the Watcher, I'd like to shout out It's a Gundam. He's a fan of yours and is nearing 300,000 subs. Similar content, but with a bit more focus on Twitch and video games. Alex Better, Jade is based and rice-pilled. Nicholas Littlefield, thanks Carl, still waiting on those appetizers. From Weird Pot, Sargon wanted this. Good stream, please keep going. From Afro Zero, Sargon, I wish there was a Gamergate 2, Monkey Paw Curls. From, from White Rice, good morning from Trapland, take my shekels, I'll buy your hats if you add a bumper sticker. From the government agent, or agent over there, have you heard of Jonas Vore? Uh, no, I don't think I have. <laughs> it's not jogging my memory. Uh, my name is Nobody, please check out Party Boy 69 on YouTube, you won't be disappointed. From Fatty Caddy, hey Jim. Can you tell us how you and Jade met and then the, ens the ensuing deep lore? You want you, you talk like what it was our first date, that kind of thing? I don't talk about my personal life very much on the internet. I've seen that everybody that does it turns out disastrously for them. 
just keep it to a bare minimum. Be cordial. Treat people on the internet and the information you share with people on the internet like how could it what would be comparable to like a nice uh, a nice cordial conversation with a stranger on the street. You wouldn't go tell a stranger on the street intimate life details. It's a terrible idea. Everybody that puts their shit on the internet, it always blows up at some point. I'm looking at I'm looking at you, Mumkey, with all those sex tapes. What were you thinking? Oh, God, that's a disaster. Uh, from Carnage, sure, I'm glad the Epstein criminal case is now officially closed. All the questions are solved. Thanks, FBI. Rest in peace. Buckled or bunk bed neck breaker. RPG or 90. No life brigade has already got first Rongerous kill. Blizzard has their cash cow back. From Say Brav, Alexa, plate baby metal. The Bone Zone, Fark, Noggers, and Juice. I think we're almost caught up here. Let me just read through the last and we, we are good. Jay Taylor, are you sure the dude's leg isn't uh, crocodile? I don't think he's shooting up. Uh, what is crocodile again? It's heroin and red phosphorus. I don't think he's. I don't think he's shooting up phosphorus trying to get high. Uh, Legato Mati, are you going to make a full Internet Insanity episode on Gale? Uh, no, probably not. We were mostly just kind of watching your shit on stream. Flamenco Gaming, Little Destiny tried to groom an autistic girl. From Moist John, consent was invented by white females to oppress transsexual minorities. The Bone Zone, Matt Jarbo is a ped o file, and Brent Spiner didn't do nothing. Garrett Jeffries, I don't know what your musical tastes are, but have you heard the new Tool album, Jim? Uh, no, I haven't. From Rodson, Jim, have you seen any of those Second Life trolling videos? They're pretty funny. Uh, yeah, I've watched those before. And finally from Jackson, I love you, Jim, and I miss you. It's your voice that keeps me going at night when the voice is quiet down in the piano wire and pillowcase gets worn out. Well, glad to be of service. I think I've got everybody. Oh, sorry, Alex, better. Did you meet Jade at a happy ending spot? You got me. I was... I was getting the I was getting the special massage, and that ending was certainly special. No regrets, no regrets here. All right. Well, thank you for joining me, chat. Uh, yeah, I, I I hate reset era. I don't know if that came across clear enough to everybody. I can't stand them. I hate reset era. It's a horrible forum, full of miserable people. Wanting a man to beg. His death isn't good. His suicide, his blood sacrifice is not good enough. He needs to fucking beg first. Oh, that is sociopathic. Holy shit. That's something you'd expect an edgy villain in a shitty anime to say. Really, that's like that's like a scene out of a really crappy 90s anime. I want you to beg before you kill yourself. <laughs> They're fucking serious about it. Uh, Eduardo Ramirez, I missed one here. I'm going to have to, uh, better than Shabman 2, do a Rule 37 on you and Jade. Oh, well, there you go. Okay, well, that wraps it up. Again, future videos on BitChute. Uh, I will get newer stuff uploaded soon. I'll stream here occasionally, but I want to find a streaming solution. I'll probably, I, I don't know where I'm going to go. i got to find something that I can work. I'll figure it out. I'll figure it out, chat. Uh, when new videos go up on BitChute, I'll post an announcement or like a little trailer video over here. Uh, but aside from that, yeah, there you go. If you're a game developer too, I, I don't know. If you're a game developer, indie or big, and you happen to hear this portion of the stream, don't, don't give in to these people. It never, you never win. You will never win. And you know it's true. I know you marketing fucks that work for these big companies. I know how cocky you are when it comes to people bitching about paying for services. I've seen your fucking backroom bullshit. I've seen your little presentations you give to each other where you laugh at consumers and talk about how them bitching and complaining doesn't affect your bottom dollar. So please take that same mentality that you use to shit on us when we bitch about microtransactions and use it to shit on these fucking cat ladies when they bitch about wanting you to censor something. Because it's the same fucking thing. They don't buy your games. They don't play your games. They don't affect your business. Fuck cat ladies. Fuck Reset Era. Don't give in to these scummy fucks. There's no reason to. All right. All right. You know, I, I want to lighten the mood a little bit. I'll play some outro music, but, you know, uh, before we go, what's that? Oh, I'm sorry, but Jordan Peterson's so proud of his acting ability, he wants me to play it one more time. I You know what? Okay. All right, I'll play it for him. So I'll play his uh, 
amazing new voice acting career video, his demo reel, for those that are interested. Play some outro music. Uh, have a good weekend, chat. Enjoy, uh, enjoy your Saturday. Enjoy your Sunday. Uh, and there you go. Oh, shit. I'm sorry. Sorry for what? Our daddy taught us not to be ashamed of our dicks, especially since they're such good size and all. Yeah, I see that. Your daddy gave you good advice. It gets bigger when I pull on it. Hmm. Sometimes I pull on it so hard I rip the skin. Well, my daddy taught me a few things too, like uh, how not to rip the skin by using someone else's mouth instead of your own hands. Will you show me? I'd be right happy to.